All right, guys, I am terrible at getting videos out. I am just no good at it. It takes me forever to go through pictures, find everything, so I'm sorry. But here's an update video on the pond build, which turned into the backyard redesign project. And I'm gonna run you through it here real quick. So here's what we started with. This is our blank canvas. As you know, we fixed the windmill, so that's what started the pond build. It started overflowing our holding tank and running down the back of the property, so we added this little pond in. Our basset hound, Josie, was enjoying her daily swims. And after about a week of the windmill really pumping some water, we had some windy days, that two-foot pond started to overfill. So. I went and grabbed the mini excavator that we rent from time to time to do some other side jobs and decided that we were going to make this pond a little bit bigger. So when we first started digging, we thought we were going to go about eight feet deep, at least on one side of the pond so that we could maybe eventually put some kind of deck or something to jump into the pond and as we started digging we realized at about four or five feet we were hitting rock so rather than take a bunch of extra time we decided just to make it a little bit wider and there it is finished product Once we were done, we decided to add a valve to our tank so that we could fill the pond when we wanted to, even if there wasn't wind overfilling the tank for our windmill. So we drained the tank to fill the pond and see what it looked like. You can see there that I had a hole on the side of the creek. Uh, we were decided we wanted to plant some trees along this little creek or wash bed so that they could use the water as we filled the pond. Uh, I think we ended up putting in four trees. They're willow trees, which are grow really well around here. And then we put one cottonwood tree right in the center of the pond on this island we left there. Hoping that someday it'll be big enough that we can swing from it into the pond, maybe even make the pond a little bigger in the, in the future. Look at that chocolate milk. So there it is. You think, well, we're done. Great. We'll move on to the next project, right? Well, no. We decided now that since we started this project, we were going to finish the backyard project, which included putting in grass and sprinkler system. First, we had to clean up the mess that was left from our stucco work on the house. This is the old siding. Had to haul that off, having that excavator was nice. We went and rented a trencher, but it did not make it very far until we hit all this rock. So we ended up using the excavator to dig the rest of the sprinkler lines. And mapped out a 100 by 100 foot area that we wanted the sprinklers to be in. And then we ended up using the rock to line the little creek bed that we had leading to our pond. Finally, we graded it all back out, nice and flat. Finished the creek bed. You can see some of the trees there now. And we're done, right? Let's go for a swim. Ugh. Okay, I'm done. Oh, I got water in my pocket. So we actually put seed down with straw on top of it. That helps keep the moisture down. But kids decided they wanted to add some fish to the pond. So we went fishing at a lake nearby, caught about eight catfish, and brought those home and put them in the pond. But now we needed a deck to fish off of. So we did a quick weekend project this last weekend and put a deck in. But I do not have very many photos of it, so 
just show you a couple here of the final product and us out fishing on it today. So there it is guys, that was our pond build turned into a complete backyard project and we are pretty much done. Not really much more we're going to do out there, just let the grass grow. Uh, we actually did that, planted that seed about two weeks ago and it's coming through great now. So might have to do a little bit of overseeding once the initial seeds all come up. But we're really happy with the final product and hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you want to know more about it or have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. And I will try to get better photos and videos of our next project. I know I didn't do very good on this one. It was kind of a fast moving, changing constantly with new additions. So hope you guys like watching and hit subscribe and follow along for more of our projects coming up.